I wanna be touched, all the metal in your palm, you're making me blush I spit that you, I'm there with no recovery, it's all elementary I know that you love me, you're on parole, look at my glow I'll do away with the enemy, just make me so I go popping them loud, give a fuck about a victim Shooting the crowd and care less, who's with them, yeah On August 30th we put out a few projects The long anticipated Spanky Local Local Life album drop um, that's got a lot of people on there, J.O. Family, Gang Homies on there, uh, 310 West, uh, 310 West is all over that, Weddle Snipes, you know what I mean, so August 30th we had that release with the Spanish, Diano Rifando, uh, also known as Slanging and Banging, and that's been a, a real good project, everybody's picking that up, and then also September we had some releases, we had uh, 310 West, ENT.com, Spanky Local Presents, and then, uh, also, IP, Well Snipes, and Spanky Loco are in possession. IP is a group thing that me and my own boy put together. He's own boy from my neighborhood. So that's like my, that's, uh, I trust that man with my life. That's like my brother, Well Snipes. Uh, you know, when I started doing my thing, I brought the homie on board. So that's like, that's my right hand gunner right there. You know what I'm saying? He's always ready for whatever, whenever. So uh, I felt like I had to do that real quick to introduce the homie into you know, into the game and shit, IP in possession, and that's for life, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are still waiting for the West Coast G's DVD, man, what's what's the update on that project going on right yeah, now? Yeah, right now, um, that's getting, uh, that's getting put together, and we're packaging that up, we're just putting the last finishing touches, we're getting the soundtrack to that put together, so, um, we've been taking our time with it, and it's, it's been, took, it's been taking a minute, but, um, Definitely, we got a we got a number of fire for that DVD uh, of the music and the footage, you know, as well as just years of three one oh West in action. You know what I mean? All videotape accumulated, so definitely you guys are gonna see, you know, inside the minds of Spanky Loco and uh, three one oh West Entertainment. So uh, you guys uh, check that out coming in a, in a couple months. So um, I say by early spring. We should be in the fact. 2006, that's like, you know, that's, that's something I'm going to kick, kick off with a bang. So I'm going to definitely have a gang of product for 2006. A gang of people is, uh, you know, a little upset because, you know, I got all this dope to put out. But really, I don't give a fuck about you motherfuckers that got something to say about me and what I'm doing. You know, really, I'm putting out. You know, a gang of homies, I'm working with a gang of motherfuckers, righteous ass homies from the streets. I don't, I don't work with no phony motherfuckers, first off. So, um, you know, I put my name on everything that I do, and I think that uh, I got um, what the street needs right now, you know. That reality music, reality rap, I don't call it gangster rap. You know, it's reality rap, and, you know, it's for the streets, and we got to put it out. So, you guys, you know, upset that we got all this dope for all these people to be out there picking out, and that's on you, you know what I mean? Y'all get ch choke on the dick pretty much because I give a fuck less. All the fans are eating it up, you know, so shit, we still gonna keep doing what we do. 2006 is a big year for us. DVDs, um, small films, independent films, soundtracks, uh, albums. So expect a lot. Well Snipes coming out with his album. This shit's gonna be out of control. Well Snipes, you know what I mean? And uh, late, uh, late 2006, we're gonna have the Spanky Local. And they spanked the local album, which is, you know, it's going to be a lot of fire coming out of that album, too. Um, you know, we just got a whole lot, co you know, going on for for the following year. This year is, you know, close to being over, so um, we're just wrapping up a gang of shit for the following year. The Young Gunners, Woody Loco, OG Solo, um, Gang Homies I'm putting out, the 310 West Gang, and then also a few mixtapes and a few other things that, you know, we got up, up our sleeves. Don Benz or whatnot, you know. You've been featured on the Kind of Lifestyle 2 soundtrack. Uh, let us know more about this project. What's going on with that? Yeah, well, um, actually, I did the whole soundtrack. Um, brought my boys on board. Um, the Young Gunners, it's uh, Weddle Snipes and a few of us. And 
pretty much I took a look at that DVD and um and and I seen the um the trailers as a sequel to part two and and homie was like you know you know give me a track I'm gonna chop this up with you give me a track so we can put it out there you know I like your music and everything so homie came at me you know righteously and shit um dude put us on the on the on the trailer and a few other things and he was like digging our music he's like well you know give me another track or let's do some more work so basically we ended up doing the whole um the whole soundtrack the whole project from beginning to end and he was just like fuck it let's put it out quick you know i want people to see what you guys are doing you know along with my footage and everything so the soundtrack is out there and it's got it's got a lot of heat on there um you'll find some of that music on some of our own projects and uh a lot of that music is exclusive, you know, a few diss tracks to some bitch ass motherfuckers, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, so, you know, I'm real proud of that project, for sure. Mm -hmm. How'd you meet up with Creeper and uh, end up doing the soundtrack for it? In the streets, yeah, smashing in the streets, I'm always in the streets, and I'll see him, like, getting his footage, you know, in the streets, he don't give a fuck, he's in South Central, you know, uh, wherever, that dude's, like, pretty much all over the scene, so... We ran into each other in the streets, and it's just from there, you know what I'm saying? It just escalated from there. The dude was interested in fucking with us, so we had some fire. Well, you, you, you dissed Frank V pretty hard on one of your tracks, man. What's up with that beef? Uh, haven't you been working with him? No, nah, I never uh, never worked with him. I knew him, you know what I mean? When I started out doing music, I knew him and shit. And, uh, you know... I got to see him, you know, how, how certain motherfuckers are, you know, a lot of fools is fake, they phony and shit, they come off like they something that they're not, you know what I'm saying, I had nothing but respect for these cats in the game, I came into the game like, you know, as a solid ass dude, you know what I mean, nothing but positivity in mind to try to hook up with all these people, try to work with them, do what I needed to do, you know what I'm saying, get with them, let them know spanky loco, ain't no pun, you know, like I, I'm, I'm with it, you know, I'm a hard worker, I'm down to do whatever, some tracks and whatever, you know what I mean, and, and dudes, you know, I don't know, they mistook it as like, you know, Spanky coming off as a guppy, you know, as, you know, a fish, as a little punk or whatever. But, you know, you know, motherfuckers underest underestimated, you know, what, what I was coming to the table with, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, just problems ensued from there. Homies wasn't trying to see a homie come up, you know what I mean? I, I, I pretty much started off with this cat, but I seen the, you know, reality of how things were. Homies are fake ass wanna be ass motherfucking gangster, you know, gang motherfuckers ain't got no love for him, you know, including his own homeboys from his own hood, um, you know, I, I took him to my neighborhood before with my little homies and dudes like never came out the car, just some straight bitch shit that, you know, I would have never brought up if dude wouldn't, you know, started running his mouth, you know what I'm saying, dude just out there trying to burn my name, say I'm this, I'm that, you know what I mean, I got homies that I put on deck, you know, through the music. I got people that I fuck with on a regular basis, and I ain't never had nobody ever come on and say, like, Spanky's a punk, Spanky ain't no good, he did me wrong, he did this, he did that. Nothing like that, homies. It's just these hating ass motherfuckers that ain't got no love for, for real homies that is trying to come up and get out the streets, and uh, they don't want to give no credit to, they don't want to give no piece of the pie to. There's money and there's food for everybody to eat, you know what I'm saying? All our families, you know what I mean? could get taken care of off of the game if we all work together, but a lot of these pussy ass, faggot ass, you know, bitch made motherfuckers let that female instinct kick in in them and, you know, that jealousy drives them to do some bitch, bitch ass shit pretty much, so, you know, the dude's a bitch, you know, he don't represent, you know, me, like, I, sh I should be represented as a Chicano, talking about Mexican power, you just a faggot ass coward pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Trying to subliminally get at me. Well, you know what? I diss you. You know what I'm saying? Whenever, however, I already talked to you in your face, called you out. You didn't want to do nothing about it. So, you know what I'm saying? Now the reality, is, you know, of the matter is that I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting it on blast. You're a punk. You're a fake ass dude. You're a whitewashed ass motherfucker. And you ain't about shit, homie. This dude will not west in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Out with the old and in with the new, my boy. It's a new generation that he dropping on your motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no punk. I ain't, you know, trying to disrespect nobody that, you know what I'm saying, that don't have it coming. I'm just like a cool ass dude that if you see me in the street or whatever, like, I'm with it, homie. I don't give a fuck. Uh, you know, if you're a cool ass dude, I'm with you, homie. I don't, 
I don't be playing no bullshit. And then some of these cats act like it's, a, it's the last dollar they ever gonna see and they gonna lose it to some fish, some young homie trying to come in, trying to do it. And, you know, like, fuck you, you know what I'm saying? I try to work with you, I try to put, you know, my hand out to help a motherfucking old washed up ass dude out and dude like, you know, wasn't with it, so, you know, fuck all that, you know what I mean? Word, man. The other beef you got going is with Night Owl, man, uh, and you even got Baby Wicked talking shit on them in your diss track, man, what's up with that? Well, like I said, like, you know, I don't, I don't be with that bullshit. The motherfuckers get at me, try to hate on me, try to, uh, you know what I'm saying, say something negative on a the motherfucker, then I'm going to come out and say twice as many negative things about you, you know what I'm saying? This dude want to play me for a point two on the internet and act like, like I'm a guppy when he got my motherfucking phone number. He, you know, he trying to leave messages to motherfuckers talking about, uh, you know, leave my lady alone, you know, don't fuck with my lady, this and that. You know what I'm saying? All over the net, all over the world for people to see. You know what I'm saying? That's some embarrassing ass shit for an old ass man to be doing, you know, over some young ass hanger that really probably don't even give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's some little kid shit be putting shit about message boards and doing all that fake ass, wankster ass, pussy ass shit. Like, you claim to be a bitch killer. You claim to be the ultimate G. Like, why you doing some bitch ass shit? Like, you know, sitting there butt naked in your motherfucking thongs, all sweaty and shit, worried about what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? All up on that keyboard. You know what I'm saying? With a rack of ribs and shit. With your greasy ass fingers, you know what I mean? Like, come on, homie, don't, don't play me for a guppy or a punk. Like, I came at you motherfuckers with number of respect, with number of love, you know what I'm saying? I came in, you know, knowing that y'all motherfuckers set, 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 the, set the way for, you know, us young cats. But y'all, like, y'all fools trying to get over on some young cats trying to come in the game. Like, jacking motherfuckers for beats, jacking motherfuckers for lyrics, jacking motherfuckers for shit. Like, come on, dog, y'all gotta get with the program. Stop burning each other's names like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all supposed to be better than that, helping motherfuckers out with that. You know what I'm saying? With that brown pride Mexican power shit. Come on, homies. Do something, you know what I mean? To reflect your pride. You know what I'm saying? No boys, don't be trying to worry about what the fuck I'm doing. Get at me like a man. Don't get at me like a punk. That's why I get treated like punks. You know what I'm saying? So I give a fuck about you fools. And if they wicked went on my track and dissed you because you're a punk and you know, it's reality. You know what I'm saying? Reality just hit your ass. Yeah. Diablo, that's like between him and me, he knows why I got it, I'm like that, you know what I'm saying, like, he, that ain't really on, on me to be giving no explanations really about, but, you know, he knows if, you know, he has any questions, he, he could hit a motherfucker up, we pretty much wherever on the street, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, from here to the NY to anywhere, dog, you catch Luna, West, Banky Loco, any of my people, he, we ain't hard to get at, you know what I'm saying, so if you feel like, you know, you got disrespected, all right, you know what I'm saying? But all you faggot ass, you know, fake ass fools is nothing but punks. You fools ain't about shit. And, you know, y'all fuck with me, but I'm gonna definitely fuck with you, you know, tenfold, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no gup, I ain't no sitting duck. You know, I ain't with that at all. Poor man. Shit. I don't really, you know, if a fool is like, on some other shit and, that's what he's doing to maintain his family. You know, he's like on the entertainment tip and, you know, whatever. Then that's your, you know, that's your thing. Like, this is your job. This is what you're doing. But, you know, don't go out and say, you you know, you're a bitch killer. You're a gangster. Like, you ain't none of that. You know what I mean? Like, don't go out and say, you know, you put the smash on fools and, like, because you don't really do none of that. Like, once you clock out, like, once you off... Your records, once you out of the studio, like, don't try to be hard, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all fools ain't hard. You fools got to just, like, tuck your tail, keep tucking your tail, run back in your cars after you get out of the studio, and take your asses straight home. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all shouldn't be out there putting yourselves out there like, you guys are doing something, man. Right? Y'all ain't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't see y'all nowhere. I, you know what I mean? Like, y'all be with that bullshit. You know what I mean? Also, I'll be on that real shit, homies. I'm a real motherfucking gangster. I'm a real motherfucking butt smoker, homie. I stay heated. I stay all of that, homie. When I smoke, I really smoke weed. I don't be smoking none of that $5 stress shit. I be on that medical shit, homie. I get me my real medication, homie. You know what I'm saying? 
I stay medicated on me. I be on the chocolate bars. You know what I'm saying? I don't be on that fake shit, homie. I be on that real shit, homie. Look. You know what I'm saying? I take my candy bar in the morning, breakfast of champs. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm local all motherfucking day, not giving a fuck, doing my thing, making my money. You know what I'm I don't worry about your punks, you know what I'm saying? I stay strapped up, I do what I do, you know? I ain't even on that fake shit, homie. Y'all fools be on that fake shit, talking about y'all smoke, y'all don't smoke. Y'all don't gang bang, y'all don't do nothing like that, homie. We on that real shit, though, dogs. Y'all ain't on that real shit, take a look at this real shit, dog. This is what we smoking right here. You know what I'm saying? Real medicals right there, dogs. Y'all ain't smoking shit. Come on. Kind of rap seems to be the biggest soap opera these days with everybody having at least one beef. Uh, when you ask me, uh, some people are taking something too serious. Uh, I mean, personally, I don't want to see a Tupac big situation in Chicano rap, but what do you think about the situation? And are you scared of shit like happening? I'm sorry. What do you think about the, that situation? And are you scared of shit like that happening in the Chicano rap industry as far as like the biggie, you know, Tupac thing, you know, the, the whole. East West beef, I don't know, you know. I don't care. I don't care. Fools could kill each other for all I care. Y'all fools could go ahead and do what y'all want. I mean, y'all don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna fuck with you. It's plain and simple, like you know what I mean? Like pretty much, you know, on the Chicano rap or on the regular rap or whatever rap is rap to me, you know what I'm saying? Regardless. So I ain't worried one bit. Shit happens all the time. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean like I'm gonna stay home and not do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Like, we go through shit all the time. I just got my truck back from the shop. You know what I'm saying? Got seven bullets in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Driving with my wife and my kids, dog. Like, it's just what happens, dog. Like, you know? It's what happens, homie. It's some real shit. There ain't no lie about that. You know what I'm saying? Bullets still inside the motherfucking truck. All, all in the frame, you know? And it's just what happens, you know? Fools want to run their mouth, you know, and expect. Dudes are just like lay back and, you know, and take it and suck it up. Like, you know, work like that. Like, I ain't really like the kind of dude, like, you just gonna get out over the internet or just be ripping my shit down and, you know, be hating on my shit because your ass ain't doing shit. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't with it, homie. I do what I do, you fuck with me, then I'm gonna fuck with you. But other than that, I ain't really with that. I'm like, you know, just trying to be out there doing what I do. That's why I didn't diss these fools, like, on my shit. I did some on some shit that was like, you know, like some street shit that I could, I could do whatever pretty much, do was like, do what you want to do, um, you know, come on, whatever, you know, so I came in with a gang, a gang of Cali anthems, and at the time I was like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna, you know, I want to say what I got to say about these punk ass dudes, you know what I'm saying, so, if I insulted anybody, you know, well, you know, what, what can I say, you know, y'all look up to, you know, some fake ass dudes and it's just entertainment, don't feel bad. All the fans out there that, you know, love, you know, proper dose, Frank Vieja and Fat Albert, you know what I'm saying? It's just they just some bitch ass fools and you know, it's like you know, I know it's a shock to you guys, but you know, it is what it is, you know. I apologize for having to be the one to put that on blast, you know what I'm saying? But um, you know, much respect to everybody that I fuck with, anybody that fucks with me that you know, God's respect for me, he knows what I'm about, I'm a diehard, and I'm a go-getter, you know what I'm saying, I'm about my, you know, so anybody around me that, you know, is with it, I'm going to try to feed too, and I'm going to try to get with too, so, that's why I got all these soldiers that I fuck with, you know what I'm saying, through, you know, West Gang, Woody Loco, Wedo Snipes, you know what I'm saying, Don Benzo, my partner, Mac Muscle on production, you know what I'm saying, Sets from the West on production, Nasty Boy, um, you know, the Young Gunners, Ghost and Vandal, you know, coming out with OG Solo, you know, real motherfucker from the streets. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know? Shit fucks me up, you know what I'm saying? Shit bothers me. You know, motherfucker came in with his head all, you know, all down trying to be, you know, respectful to the game, but, you know, that jealousy kicks in, these motherfuckers, you know, mistook a homie for a punk, you know? We ain't no punks. Is there anything else you want to say to uh, your fans and enemies out there? My um, my enemies are my fans. So to all my fans out there, you know, much love for 
you know, the support on the Local Life album. I'm hearing a gang of good shit about that album. Um, pick up all our product, pick up all our shit. In stores everywhere, FYE, Circuit City, Warehouse, Mom and Pops, um, anywhere shit is at, picks, anything. Pick up anything that says Spanky Loco Presents or 310 West, anything that says, you know what I'm saying, Big Cry, Earth Daily, you know, Well Snipes, pick that all up, coming soon. You know what I'm saying? Pick up all that shit. And uh, for y'all that don't know what's going on, uh, stay tuned for this little trailer that's about to pop up right after this little, you know, interview. So check it out. This is uh, West Coast G's, the DVD. Pick that shit up. I'm motherfucking no. <laughs>